No sense in arguing who's wrong or right. Waste all our energy, we're up all night. Isn't it obvious we're losing sight of what our purpose is? We've got to unite. This is our time, every hour. This is our flight. Fly high, go. Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. I'm so happy that you chose my video to give you some clean and motivation to get your day going. Today's video is an all day clean with me. I have extreme cleaning motivation to help you give you that little bit of boost. We are going to be throwing in some laundry motivation and at the end of the video I'm gonna be showing you my spring slash Easter decor decorate with me I'm gonna be decorating my kitchen table I'm super excited to share that with you guys so be sure and stay tuned for that I cleaned the entire day I feel like looking back on the footage it doesn't look like I got as much done as it felt like I did but I swear I was literally cleaning all day so like I mentioned in my previous video we had company coming over and so I had to just get the house prepared for that so this is kind of a part two to my whole house clean with me I'll have that linked here if you want to see what I did the day before this this is gonna be a continuation of cleaning my whole house so I'm gonna be starting off here in the guest bathroom. I needed to clean up after the cat. As you can see, they tend to make a little bit of a mess. If you have cats and you understand what I mean, it doesn't matter what you do, you're always gonna have a mess to clean up between the litter and the food. It just is what it is. I've come to accept it at this point. So I like to take everything out of the bathroom so I can make sure that I get it all cleaned up by the way, excuse the phone on the side of the screen. I didn't realize I had it in the shot until I was editing. So just overlook that if you can, but I went ahead and vacuumed up all the floors and I shake all the rugs out to get all the litter out of it. By the way, if you do have cats, I highly recommend these bath rugs for the litter. It kind of collects and drops down in between all of those little grooves and it's just way better than a cat litter mat. Um, we had the lady suggest that to us from where we adopted the cats and she was totally right it works so well so we keep their food we have two bowls because they like to fight over the food so I just wanted to give those a good clean clean out their water bowls really well I cleaned out the bathtub here in just a minute and then I had just cleaned the whole bathroom not that long ago so it wasn't really dirty I just needed to kind of give it a dust and wipe it down really quickly but today's video is a collaboration with my friend here on YouTube we have been following each other since the beginning as far as I can remember I remember seeing her name all over my Instagram ever since the beginning and then I've recently restarted like watching her videos and I just really enjoy her content she produces really good high quality content so I'm always wanting to share people with you guys if you need more cleaning motivation her name is Amanda she's from the UK I love her accent if you haven't watched one of her videos I highly recommend you go over and check her channel out if you do be sure and let her know that I sent you of course she makes similar content to me she does cleaning motivation home decor inspiration she's gonna be doing an all-day clean with me as well so if if you go over to her channel, let her know that I sent you guys over there and be sure and show her video all the love. I would do anything for you. Build a castle up around you if I could figure out how. Call, I would tell him bring it on. 
If you guys don't already follow me over on Instagram, I would love to have you over there. I love chit chatting and just getting to know you. I like to be active in my stories from time to time. So if you don't already, definitely follow me. It's just love Kristen underscore. I'll have it pinned in the comments. I am going to be doing some laundry. I had done several loads and just needed to catch up on the folding. So if you love laundry motivation, the folding motivation, then this portion of the video is for you. If not, feel free to skip ahead. No hard feelings, but sometimes you just have to knock out all of that at once and get an empty laundry basket. I swear nothing feels better than having an empty laundry basket. Am I alone? Do you guys love it? <laughs> Do you ever get it? I would be curious to know. Do you feel like you always have clothes that need to be folded or do you try and just knock it out from time to time? I feel like I am in the middle ground of that. I have an empty dirty clothes hamper more often than I have an empty clean clothes hamper, if that makes sense. And I'm okay with that. Sometimes you just have to accept it and move on figure out what your priorities are around your home. I love this girl I found on TikTok. She does cleaning motivation on TikTok and she talks a lot about morally right or wrong when it comes to cleaning and the only thing that comes to my mind when I'm talking about this right now is having an empty laundry basket is not morally wrong and I don't want anybody to ever feel like they aren't good enough or they're not doing just doing their hardest or keeping up around their home good enough um, don't ever feel like you have to compare yourself to anyone of course we are showing you our good times and we're showing you what we actually are getting done around the house i'm not walking around showing you what i don't have done so just let me help motivate you to maybe do one or two things around your home today that you maybe weren't planning on but that's kind of hanging over your head so just don't feel bad about what you get to or don't around your house but let me encourage you and remind you how good it does feel to get all of that done. Okay, I'm sorry for my little rant. I don't know where that came from. I just felt like sharing. I just know how easy it is to start comparing yourself to other people. Trust me, I am the worst at it, but we all have to just realize that we're our own person and we don't have to measure up to anyone else but ourselves. So with all that being said, I hope everybody has a super productive Monday. I've been loving Mondays lately. It's just a fresh start to the week. Everything goes back to its normal routine. I really, really thrive off of a routine and I'm realizing that the more I get older. Do you guys love Mondays? Let me know in the comments below. And if you don't, or do you want to love Mondays? What is your priority to get done around your home on a Monday? Do you have a cleaning schedule that you follow or do you just kind of go along with what needs to be done and just kind of do whatever you need to do on that specific day. That's more what I do. I would love to have a cleaning schedule just for me. It's not super realistic. I don't know. I just, I've never done it, even though I've heard of people doing it and have had friends that have done it. It seems like it would make a lot of sense. You know, you have a schedule, you clean a certain room every day, and then your whole house gets cleaned during the week. As you can see, I get followed around the house when I'm cleaning. If you didn't know, we have two cats, Mojo and Miko, and Miko is the gray one, Mojo is the white one. And this is their little bathroom right now. That's why I'm cleaning up in here, getting all of their litter cleaned up, like I mentioned earlier. So that bathroom is done. I did the majority of the other guest bathroom in my last whole house clean with me like I mentioned earlier I just have to finish up in here I needed to clean the bathtub and the floors so I'm gonna get to that but remember stay tuned here in just a few minutes we're gonna decorate for spring and Easter I'm super excited I have a tiered tray and then I'm gonna decorate the kitchen table share my Ray Dunn Easter finds so if you enjoy that then definitely stay tuned I wanted to share this brush with you. I've used it a couple of times now and I really, really like it for cleaning the showers. It covers a bigger surface area so it just doesn't take as long. I found it at Walmart for just like two or three dollars. Highly recommend checking that out. This bathroom does not get used only whenever we have guests, which isn't very often. However, the cats were in here before I recently moved them and so I just needed to get it clean and sanitized before our guests come over. But there is little 
little to no soap scum on here. So I'm just doing a super quick wipe down. I sprayed it off earlier with a Kaboom foam, which you don't even have to go back behind and scrub, but I just like to anyways. And then I'm just gonna give it a rinse with a big cup. Just fill it up and pour it on the wall and it rinses it really well. We don't have a removable shower head in here. So that just makes it a little bit easier. is full of questions and the sky is full of rain when i'm worrying about what i can't change i take a look at my reflection and try to make a funny face and for a second all my sorrows melt away as if we just smile we can forget all of our troubles are you even cleaning if you're not out of breath that's the real question <laughs> I have been cleaning all day, you guys. All day I've been cleaning. But we've come to the exciting portion of today's video. I'm gonna be decorating for spring. Well, more Easter than spring, but some of this I'll get to carry over to springtime. And I wanna quickly show you guys what I got, let you know where it's from in case they possibly still have it and you wanna go pick it up. Most of this is from the Dollar Tree, Walmart, Home Goods and Marshalls. So I'll show you really quickly what I got. We'll put together a super quick tablescape for Easter and then we will continue cleaning the rest of the house. All right, so really quickly, I'll show you everything that's from the Dollar Tree. They always have these super cute signs set out and anything from the Dollar Tree is obviously $1. So I picked this little guy up. I don't know if I'm gonna use him. I'll kind of show you what, now that I have it all set out, what I think I will and won't use. Um, I picked these moss bunnies up from the Dollar Tree. This was, yeah, these were from the Dollar Tree. These egg picks are also from the Dollar Tree, as well as these bunnies. And what I liked about this is, as you can see, it's bright on that side, but then you have your more muted tones in the back. So we'll see what we can do with that. And then I picked these up from Target. I'm excited to continue being able to use these even after spring. Just super cute dollar spot find for three bucks. I also picked up this little bush of flowers as well as this. I thought those might look cute together in something. Both were from the Dollar Tree. I also almost forgot, but I picked this up from the Dollar Tree. Love that. And if you're curious, my three-tiered tray is from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so let's see, I've covered all of that. And then you guys already know the Ray Dunn Easter decor is Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, all from those places. I picked this up at Walmart. This is the bigger bag of it, $1.98. This was Home Goods. These are super chunky. I love, love those. Um, this was from Walmart. Just some like glittery looking Easter eggs. And is that it? Yeah, I think so. This little guy's hiding, so I'll pull him out for you really quickly. So cute.
you guys are enjoying this Easter decorate with me. I really enjoyed putting it together. I would love to hear from you in the comments. If you decorate for the different holidays and seasons, it's not something that I've done before, but I've really been enjoying doing it lately. My favorite part, I think, is just collecting all of the little pieces that I find at the different stores of the holidays approach. These green wreaths that I found on the Target dollar spot come apart, and I didn't realize that until I was going to decorate, and I was proud of myself for finding that so if you pick that up um, maybe just know that you can do that if you wanted to it made it super easy to put it on my tiered tray so tag me on Instagram if you guys decorate for Easter if you set up a tiered tray tag me in your Easter Ray done I love seeing all of the different finds I tell you what with decorating it really is just a trial and error and I wanted you guys to see that because I don't want you to think that it has to be perfect on the first try. Um, I had different things in my mind and they just didn't work out and that is totally okay. So some of the stuff did not get used, but I had it if I wanted to use it and I didn't, the stuff that I didn't use, I did get from the Dollar Tree. So like what, two or three bucks that I ended up not using, not a big deal, not the end of the world. So I had a hard time keeping this little tray standing up. If you guys have any tips or tricks, to keep this standing upright. I would have loved to know. Um, I still struggle with it kind of sliding down as of right now. So um, I had good intentions on this, but I just ended up not using the garland as well. Another thing that I didn't use. Um, and then this bunny, I ended up realizing that the colors just did not flow with the rest of my Easter decor. Totally fine. I put it in the back where you're not going to see it. You're only going to see the white and it just kind of was a filler and it didn't get wasted. So just another tip. Nobody sees the back of this to your tray. I end up putting it on my kitchen table, but I hope you guys are really enjoying this. Um, definitely be sure and subscribe if you aren't already. Like the video if you enjoyed it today. Be sure and follow me over on Instagram. We're not quite done, but I just wanted to remind you to do all that because I know sometimes it's easy to forget, but it just really helps my channel out. If you guys subscribe, turn on your post notifications, like the video, all of that good stuff. So let's keep decorating. So I really love how this came out. I hope you guys did too. I ended up tearing apart two of those picks that I tried earlier and put them on top of my jelly bean bowl. And then this is the back of the tray. And like I mentioned earlier, nobody's really gonna see that. It just needs to kind of look full. My roses fell and I didn't even notice that it was funny. I seen it while I was editing. But this garland, I'm just gonna lay across the table and then I have a couple of things to put on each side. So I didn't have my sign whenever I was decorating. I actually went to town and and found it so I could include it in the video so it would look a little bit more full. I love how it came out though. I love the sign that I picked. Super, super cute and modern. It just says Happy Easter. And then I put my jar of jelly beans right here next to my Radon Easter basket. So in love with how it came out. Like I honestly 
love it. I just keep looking at it and enjoying it. So just absolutely happy with it. But I had just a little bit more cleaning that I wanted to get done. I actually had intended on doing a lot more. I wanted to do all the floors in my home in this video. But like I mentioned earlier, I was cleaning all day already and I was exhausted and just over it. So I went ahead and mopped the back door around the guest bathroom and bedroom where our family was going to be staying. That way they had fresh and clean floors. And then I called it a night and that is totally okay. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed hanging out with you and I hope that you will leave a comment down below before you leave so we can chat a little bit. But I hope everybody has a great and productive week and I will see you guys in my next video. Before a happy end.